Hey everyone, welcome to the vlog. Today we're going to be talking about is size important? Now I know what you're all thinking and that's not what we're going to be talking about. But what I want to talk about today is camera aperture and why it is one of the most critical things to think about when you're installing a camera in a conference room or a huddle space where more than sort of one or two people are going to sit. Now we all know that the modern cameras are getting really really great. The, the quality that you can get out of you know, just a simple cell phone camera is just quite astounding. But really, when you put them into larger rooms where you've got uh, potentially you know, a lot of people sitting quite a distance from the camera, maybe up to many meters away, um, the light gathering ability of the camera becomes really important. So if we just take a look here, I and mean, this is a, an iPad Pro. Um, we can see up on the screen there, that little circle up in the top corner, that's the camera. Now it's great, You've, we've all seen the pictures of people at concerts holding these up, taking pictures, um, but the camera you know, has some limitations because that small circle is where all of the light for your image has to be able to go. And in a large conference room where the lighting might not be great, the larger the aperture, the better. And one of the other things that uh, a lot of people say is, well, we'll just put a PC in the conference room, we'll stick a, a webcam on it and we'll, we'll operate that way instead of buying a dedicated video conferencing system. And they choose something like this. This is the Logitech C925, absolutely fantastic webcam. Um, I'll hold it up there, you can see its aperture is certainly bigger than the, uh, the one on the iPad, but it's not very big, it's probably probably you know eight or nine millimeters maybe across but actually when you look inside the lens is almost exactly the same size as the one in the iPad. Now you can still get a great quality picture out of this but this is designed to sit this far away. It's designed you know one maybe one and a half meters um, and designed to sit at eye level and capture maybe one or two people at most. Um, it is actually a, as I said before a wonderful product and one of the things I do like about it is this little privacy filter so any of you who have seen the Snowden movie who are worried that somebody might be watching you through your webcam, you can slide that across and it works for you. But really this is a personal device. This is designed to hook on your, your computer. Um, it actually lives on mine, but it's designed for you to be able to do one-to-one -one video chats. So for the small conference room, there are systems like this. And again, this is another Logitech product. This is the uh, conference cam, uh, conference cam connect, I believe it's called. Um, and it is, it's an all-in-one, it's a Bluetooth speaker for conference calls, it'll play your music, it'll things, but if you take this little panel off the front, a nice little magnetically attached remote, you have a camera. And this is its main function, it is a, a group conference camera. And it's designed for small numbers of people to sit around. In fact, I, I use this one uh, a lot in the summer or if I'm traveling, if I'm gonna be, now I'm gonna be away from the home office in maybe in a hotel and I want a good quality camera, I take this one with me. But um, again, if I hold it up there, you can see that the lens, it is actually still quite small. Now, don't be put off by this big circle here. This isn't the size of the aperture. You have to look right in the middle and the aperture is probably twice the size of the one that's in the iPad. So again, still very small. And from, from a light gathering capability, all of the light from your conference room has to get in there to give you a good picture. So all of those people sitting way, way, way at the back um, aren't gonna be picked up as well. Now, as I said, this is a great product and it, it does what it's designed for, for two to three people sitting in a small huddle space. But again, if you're actually thinking about proper conference rooms, there really is no substitute for something like this. Now, this is a Sony, uh, let me read it out so I make sure I get it correct. It is the SRG120DH, Delta Hotel. Uh, this is an, a 1080p HDMI camera. Um, as you can see, it pans and tilts. Uh, but it also has a huge lens. Now, let me just angle that so you can see it. So that means much, much more light gets into this camera and consequently the image quality between this and this is black and white. I don't mean literally, because they're both color cameras, but the quality that you will get from this camera is streets ahead of a camera like this. Now, obviously this camera costs a lot more than this camera. So it really is, you've got to ask yourself, you know, what's more important to you? Well. Maybe if you're interested in video conferencing, the quality of the image might be quite important. So therefore, having a good quality camera is gonna deliver you a better quality of image. So reality is, size is important, and the bigger the aperture, the more light you're gonna get in, the more light that gets into the sensor, the better quality image that you're gonna get. 
Well, I hope that was useful. Next time, we're going to talk about something else that's quite dear to my heart. Uh, I'm going to talk about microphones and uh, sound in conference rooms. Um, but we'll get on to that one next time. So this is the end of the blog. I'll see you next time.